Wonderland. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Aaron Hilliard from Mushroom Wonderland. And we're in this beautiful uh, mountain meadow in this valley at Priest Lake up near Telluride, Colorado. And it's pouring rain. That's us with the red tent right there. So living the dream, although we're a little bit wet. But just, we're gonna go for a mushroom foray out here and just have a look at how much fungal diversity there is growing in the mountains of Colorado in August. It's mind blowing, especially if you're from the PNW. Um, there's just so many mushrooms that grow out here right now. So we're heading out into the forest. Just check out mushrooms. Please come along. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you like videos like this and leave me a positive comment. And uh, we just keep making mushroom videos and putting them out. And uh, yeah, so let's head into the woods. Yeah, that's thunder. This is Colorado in August. So. so these woods are just filled with mushrooms. Look here, a lot of rushala. And then right here, look at all of these Mushrooms in a ring, these are some kind of a clytosabe. They grow in a fairy ring. Right here, we got a, you know, you can see the rust color spores on this stite. This is a type of cortinarias. Lots of those out here. Back, back here, more suillas. Whoa, look at these. Holy smokes, clytosabe. These guys are pretty poisonous from what I understand on his foray. Somebody cut, picked that one and flipped it over, so letting us know that they were here. Wow, that's pretty. Holy cool, that's an agaricus. Look at that, flip that over. Look at that beautiful partial veil, unbroken. Very, very cool. That's related to the grocery store button mushroom. Oh, okay. Beautiful, related to the prints. This one. So we're gonna test it to see if it stains yellow, if it has a chemical smell. Yeah, there's some chunky things happening right here. I got a soda in my hand. Just oh, we got a Russell of Breva peas and a Russell of Zerampolina growing right next to each other. Just so much fungal diversity here. It's just mind blowing. Sure are a lot of different Russellas out here. Russellas, I mean, Russella. from ASMR. There you go. <laughs> Look at these big old boys. Are these the guys that had the ring on them. Jeez. Right here. Look at this big witch's hat. Hygrosaby. That's one of the bigger ones I've ever seen, honestly. That's huge waxy cap, so. Larry this morning, but he was saying that these are mildly active, that people eat them and, uh, and they feel a little slight like body high. So there's your witch's hats or hygrosabi. These guys right here, Lycoperidon perlatum, the, the studded puffball. It's a good edible mushroom. Uh, especially out here in the real wilderness, you don't really want them near roadsides and in yards and stuff because they they do absorb a lot of heavy metals. But uh, good good edibles, they leave all these like flaky scales. But if it's yellow or brown inside, you don't want to eat it. This one's pure white. That would be perfect. Cook that up with some steak or eggs or both. Did I mention it's raining here in Colorado? In the mountains of Colorado, it's not just cute rain or a shower. It is like rain, rain, rain. We're getting a little bit of everything on this trip. <laughs> From scorching heat to pouring rain. There's our camp. Not too shabby. It's like the valley in the Ricola commercials. You know? And 
mama's cabin. Oh yeah, that's creepy. Well, there's a bunch of animal poo in here. Lots and lots of animal poop. So it's like an elk shelter. It's an elk house now. Crazy. Look at this, it's like a Rushala Wonderland. They're just, they're everywhere. These darker purpley ones, probably the shrimp. Rushala, that's okay to eat. Oh, look at these. Look at these, honey. These are amazing. Hawk's wing or uh, sarcodon. Wow, quite a flush of them. Look at how unique the cap surface is on these. Very cool. And what's even cooler is underneath it's going to have these like teeth. Pretty sure. Yep. Look at the teeth on that, like a hedgehog mushroom. Can you eat it? Yeah, but they're pretty bitter. Not a lot of people like eating those, but they are edible. Wow. Yeah, we're hoping to find some chanterelles. They have blue chanterelles here too. Oh, look at this. A little stash of pine cones by some little squirrel or some little animal. That's adorable. More rushlets, rushlets, rushlets everywhere. Cortinarius, all these guys, these ones, Lyophilum, the fried chicken mushrooms. Wow, that's quite a big hole. Anything could be in there. And no doubt there's a lot of just like undescribed little mycenas and stuff. Look at this little guy. Who knows what that is? I don't know, one of these guys could probably ID it. Put it in the comments if you know. Right here, these could also be looking kind of chanterelle like. You could throw off a novice, but not us. Rhinocibes, more red rushalas, and all these white mushrooms. Oh my gosh. And just a ton of like fairy rings everywhere. Fairy rings intersecting with other fairy rings. There's another sarcodon. Beautiful. These are some more of the rushalas, but. These ones really deep red, known as the sickener. So these ones reportedly will make you pretty, pretty sick. Any of these really red capped ones, I've heard to just avoid. They're almost all acrid. There's one that's not, but if you've ever tasted one, a really acrid one, you will, uh, you'll be a little reluctant to try that a bunch. So it's, it can be pretty unpleasant. What'd you find? A brain. A gyromitra. Close. It's really closely related. This is the evil queen. Do you remember what the evil queen's name is? Sorry, the P. Helvella. Helvella lacunosa. Or the elfin saddle. But these ones are really contorted. Beautiful. Man, you don't. You find these in like November in Washington. Well, there's some big corals up there, it looks like. More sarcodon right there. Those are beautiful. Just amazing. Puffball. Nice looking puffball. Dang, look at how red these are. So the test, you know, might as well talk about it while we're here. He's got that rosy stem, you know, I almost want to say it's the shrimp rustler, but, but the way to tell is you got to take a little nibble. So, I'm going to uh, just take a little bit off the edge of the cap. It's okay to chew on any mushroom as long as you spit it out. So I don't taste anything that tastes acrid about this. I think this is a good safe one to eat. It looks delicious, right? Look how red it is. It's like an apple. Yeah, beautiful red delicious apple. But you'll know if, if it's a rustler that you aren't supposed to be eating, it'll really start burning on your tongue. But uh, that one, yeah, it's been about 30 seconds. I would definitely be feeling it by now. So we'll call these the rustler Zarampolina. The only problem with these is they get all those little holes or wormies. 
It's a little slimy. I would rinse them off, give them a good wash. But shrimp rustle are pretty popular, edible mushroom. And they explode pretty cool too. <laughs> I love doing that. Color on this guy. How green it's looking. This is a lactarius. So if I damage these gills, it should uh, lactate. This one's a little bit old, so milk might not come out of it, but see that greenish color? That is like one of the most disgusting looking mushrooms to me, but this is actually called Lactarius deliciosus. So edible mushroom, but they just look hideous to me, man. They do not look tasty. Look at this, another awesome patch of mushrooms that my wifey spied. So these actually contain, they're known as the alcohol inky cap. And you can eat these, they're totally edible as long as you don't drink alcohol. These are really thick. And, uh, but if you do drink alcohol, it's got um, a chemical in it uh, known as um, coprine. Yeah, it's what they use in anabuse for like severely alcoholic people that try to get them to quit drinking alcohol. Make you severely sick if you drink alcohol and eat these within a week of each other so yeah the uh, alcohol inky caps really cool I don't even drink alcohol but just because they have that reaction makes me like not really want to eat them you know just the fact that they could make you sick uh, steer me away but they're always growing on wood so underneath here there's like a rotten stump that they're growing off of Right here growing on this downed log. More woodier. There's quite a bit of it on this log. Again, a good edible. We found some of these on Larry's foray yesterday. We're gonna leave those. I have a bunch of them actually in the truck, so. Right here, these ones look a lot like pancakes. But, uh, they're not. Another Russell. So with over 200 species of these Russula, there's just a ton of them. I can differentiate the Russula from the Lactarius by damaging the gills. I don't see any milk coming out, so. Again, you could try the spit and the nibble and spit test, but I don't know if too many of the brown ones to be any good to eat. Right here, oh, Tricholoma. Oh, uh, that's pretty. The Tricholoma saponaceum group, or the soapy trike. Another one you don't want to eat. But you could crush this up and wash your hands in the river with it. And actually it has like antibacterial properties and stuff. So they call it the soapy trike. So you can use it as soap in a pinch. But your hands are going to smell like mushrooms after that. So choose your battles. So we're walking up this forest service road away from our campsite and a lot of people up here this time of year means a lot of mushroom foraging so a little tip if you're out here looking for some of the some of the better ones is to get see look here's a pretty main trail like that yeah. so find a trail that doesn't look like everybody's been on and hike your butt way off into the woods away from where people have been <laughs> See that bright white flush. Clytosabe in here. Those are big, but you don't want to eat those. No good. No good for eating. Marusula, Cortinarius, Tricholoma. Another Sarcodon. I'm trying to pop out of the moss here. Look at the color of the cap. You just hear that? The critter up here in the woods. We're on high bear alert. A little bit bearanoid after yesterday. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, yeah. Some kind of a zero camella. It's pretty looking. It's probably edible. I love the color of the cap there, so. Pretty. Saying that they were good, that they were eating the sarcodon. No, look at this. This is what we call a false chanterelle. Hygrophoropsis arantiaca, or the false chanterelle. Cool. So thanks for joining Mushroom Wonderland. Check us out on the next episode. Much love, everyone.